Hey guys, so I'm just testing this new kind of video and it's basically a whiteboard style video and I'm gonna give you a quick lesson, a quick tip. And in this specific video, it is about how to solve market sizing questions fast, really fast, okay? So we teach market sizing in our master market sizing course. I'll put the link below in case you're interested. But in this specific case, I'm gonna show you why some estimation questions take like 30 seconds to solve and why some take 20 minutes to solve and what's the difference and the basic answer is depth okay so let me show you through an example so let's say we want to estimate the beer market in the US okay so pretty simple question but we can solve it in different levels of depth and that's gonna determine how long we take to solve it so let me show you the 30 second answer basically the beer market in the US is the number of beer drinkers times the average spend per beer drinker. Pretty obvious, right? So how do I solve this in 30 seconds? Well, I took like 20 seconds to write this down. And then I'm going to say, well, let's say that there are 100 million beer drinkers in the US. And let's say that each of them spends like, let's say 50 bucks per month. So 600 bucks per year. How do I know these numbers? I don't, right? And I'll get to that. So in this case, what would the answer be? Well, 100 million times 100 is 10 billion times six. That's 60 billion dollars. And we'll see how close I got to by the end of the video, okay? So this is the very quick way to estimate a market. I took like 30 seconds to do this and yeah, it's basically that. So let's see how I can get to a better answer and then also I'll get, I'll, I'll take a little bit more time to do that, right? So let's take out these values because I made them up and let's say that we go one layer deeper here, okay? So number of beer drinkers that would be the population over 21 years old times the percentage who drink alcohol times the percentage of those who drink beer, okay? And then I'll split this one also into average spend per beer drinker is number of cans or equivalents, right? Times, this is per year, times the average price okay and then the average number of cans i can do like uh for occasional and for frequent beer drinkers right so then i need to to do the math for each one of these so population over 21 is the population times the percentage over 21 of course so population let's say 300 million people percentage over 21 would be, I'll just make it easy for myself. I'll say it's 75%. In a real interview, I'd probably explore like how I got to this and etc. Percentage who drink alcohol. I'm not going to uh, justify my assumptions too much here just to make the video shorter. So let's say that 50% of adults drink alcohol and then 80% of those drink beer and then cans per year let's say for the occasional drinker that is i don't know like one one or two cans per week so that would be let's say 1.5 about 75 cans per year and then for frequent drinkers let's say they drink one per day let's say 400 per year and then the average price uh it depends if if it's a bar if it's a grocery store, right? Let's say $1.5. Okay. Obviously to do this math here, I need to know what percentage of people are frequent and occasional. I'm just going to say it's 150 just to show you how this works, right? Then average price is 1.5. So we have an average spend of 225. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, population over 21 is 300 it's 225 as well 225 million people and then i multiply that by 40 percent because this is 40 percent combined right so 40 percent of 225 it's gonna be 22.5 times 4 so about 90 million beer drinkers right so we have 90 million beer drinkers at 
$225. So this gives us, it's about $20 billion. So basically, how does this whole thing work? I took a lot more time and I got to a different result. I could spend even more time. Like I could open this up into channels, right? So bars and restaurants, uh, grocery stores, uh, convenience, and then I'd have a share, a percentage for each one. I could work a lot more on this, right? I could open up the percentage who drink alcohol or who don't drink alcohol into religious health reasons, stuff like that. I could go into a lot more depth or I can just use the lower depth thing. And this is the difference between taking a lot of time and taking just a little bit of time for solving an estimation case. Basically, when do you want to take the long approach? It's two situations. First is if the problem is really complex, right? Beer drinking, that's not a complex problem. But if I'm talking about, for example, uh, the market for uh, surgery scapels, like I can't just say, oh, there are 2 million surgeons in the US. Like, I have no idea if it's 2 million or 20 million or 200,000, right? So uh, in that situation, you do need more de detail. And the other situation where you need more depth is when you need to be more precise or when you need to show your interviewer that you can uh, do like more detailed modeling of a scenario, right? So uh, when I use the short approach, the advantage is that I'm very quick, right? I don't waste time in the case, but I also don't show uh, my ability to create models in Excel spreadsheets. And sometimes they want to see that. And then you have to see from the context of the interview, how your interviewer behaves, what kind of questions they ask, if they want more depth or not. And if they do want more depth, then it's okay to spend more time. Now, if they don't want more depth, then you can just take the shorter approach and say, well, this is my quick and easy uh, thing. If you need more detail or more uh, nuance, let me know and I'll dig deeper on this. So I hope this makes it uh, less mystical, how to do it fast and also why you sometimes should do it slowly and in a longer format. So if you like this style of video, let me know because I can make more of these. And if you're interested in getting better at estimation questions, check out Master Market Sizing, link below.